<laughs> Everybody's dancing and having fun. I was not expecting that at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> we're gonna go around town and we're gonna let some locals taste test it and see what they think of our own homemade kidney lao. It is 4.19 in the morning. We're about to drive up to the Tagbilaran fish market to get the freshest fish for our kidney lao. We have arrived at the morning fish market. This is Chef Dagan. He knows what he's talking about. He actually is a chef. I'm gonna let you lead the way, Dagan, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. My own boontag. <laughs> African pompano. African pompano? Yeah, African pompano, one of my favorites too. Are we getting that? We might be in a second. So how do you know if it's fresh? So there's several ways to look at it. Uh, number one, rigor mortis. Uh, is it stiff? Is it rigid? Is it floppy? Does it have fresh slime on it from the ocean? Does it have less slime on it from the ocean? Can you look into the eyes and see through into the ocean? This one, what do you think? Uh, I think it looks pretty promising. It's one of my favorite fish. We'll come back to it. We're gonna take a walk. Through. You said we're making three types of kidney lao, right? Traditionally, it would be a mackerel. Okay, uh, mackerel. A mackerel. Hi, hi, my own boon talk. My own boon Hi, sir. My own boon talk. Gamusta, good morning. What kind of fish is that? 200. Bangus. Melfish. What? Melfish. Melfish. This one is Belong. Belong? Oh, yeah. Belong. Belong. What is this one? Tuna. Tuna. He knows what all these are. I have to ask what everything is. Everybody's dancing here. <laughs> <laughs> This is great, great energy. You're not tired? Ah! Ah! Right. <laughs> Do you like kini lao? Yeah. Today we're making kini lao. We're kini lao? Yeah, we're, we're making kini lao today with uh, fish, but he's, he's making all the decisions. I've talked about it all the time, how bubbly and friendly everyone is in the Philippines, but for some reason I didn't think it was gonna be like that here at this time of day. <laughs> They're having a party. <laughs> Like everybody's dancing and having fun. I was not expecting that at 5.30 a.m. I don't know why. But I, I guess it's the Philippines. I guess it doesn't matter what time it is or where you are, you're gonna have fun. So yeah, everybody's just laughing, having fun. Sorry? Doom? What's that? Kayo. Oh, Kayo means very. Oh. Dancing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to dance? Oh. Are you dancing? <laughs> There's so much energy. <laughs> We're just having a party. 5.30 a.m. <laughs> Sorry? This one. Bread. Bread. <laughs> bread, bread, yes, bread. <laughs> I do know bread. This one is black oak. Lips. What is it? Lato. Lato. And this one is Goso. Goso. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've eaten both of these. Yeah. Not the same. It's a hot water, and this one is only vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. La Mica Ayo. <laughs> what is this? Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The sea is full of sea urchins. We're going to wander around. <laughs> Salamat. If you have it. <laughs> Sorry? Selfie. Selfie. Okay, we're gonna do a selfie. Wait till I wait till. Okay, we're doing a selfie. <laughs> da da Dagan is off buying fish and I'm over here dancing. <laughs> let's get one with let's get one with some fish too. Okay. Here, thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan, yeah. my name is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Sagnes? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet Bye. you, Sagnes. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's Bye, see you. We might be we might be back. I'm getting very distracted. <laughs> We're supposed to be buying fish. I'm I'm just dancing and taking selfies. 
Let's find Dagan. I have no idea where he went. There he is. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay. <laughs> My moon tag. <laughs> We got another pompano right here. Okay. Big African pomp. So we want. Looks really good. I'm debating on him, but I did find a Mackey though. You found a mackerel? Yeah, so I want to show you. Okay, let's go see that. My own boondog. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, long. I did not expect it to be like this. Like, everyone's dancing. <laughs> We're dancing over here too. <laughs> this is awesome. Hounds, man. Oh. What do we have here? Needle nose. What are these called? Oh, houndfish. Houndfish? But they're, they're just like big needle nose. Yeah, I always see these in the water. So what he's cleaning back there, uh, in reference to the South Pacific, is called a mother-in-law fish. Your face. Oh, get the cellophane off. Oh. Oh, maybe. What's that? She was making the shot better. The, oh. Okay, okay. These are rainbow. Oh, you moved that to get a better video for us. Okay, thank you. Salama. Uh -huh. It's called doing the hard work for you. Yeah. And once they get on you, like this, they'll dry and stick like a tattoo. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are flying all out of us. I've never... You never had to scale a, a big fish or a no. snapper? Yeah. No. So one of these rainbow runners might not be too bad either. We could do some really good cooking with one of these guys. That blackfin tuna looks amazing right there. Looks really good for some, some tuna steaks or something. But then over here, for Kitty Ha. See these people here? I've already got it chopped up. What is this? It's a mackerel. We might be getting this. I'm going to take one more look around. Some people have already bought a few sections of it, as you can see. Okay. Uh, Probably for Sunday King of Yeah. Everybody's dancing. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Eat log. That's a lot of eat log. He's dancing. <laughs> ayo, ayo. <laughs> ayo, ayo. I'm ping. <laughs> I'm ping. This morning, there's about one third of the stalls open, and uh, this is the best selfie light. That's perfect. That's good lighting. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Squid? Squid. How do you say squid in Visaya? Lucas. Lutos. Nucos. Nucos. Ah, uh, Nucos. Nucos. How do you say shrimp in Visaya? Pasayan. Pasayan. Uh. Pasayan. Okay. <laughs> Salamat. <laughs> You ready to go buy this mackie? Yeah. Are we getting the mackerel? Okay. Yeah. All right, we're getting mackerel. Your head, you're, you're the tallest person in here. Yeah, by far. <laughs> Your head is, is about to hit all and of these. And they have all these electrical wires going everywhere, and I have to constantly touch them. <laughs> getting the mackerel. OK, sir, how much kilo? 400, 400 a kilo. 400 okay. kilo? OK, so how much? There's probably one kilo, maybe. There's probably one kilo, maybe. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll buy one. You buy one, or how do you want to? Yeah, I'll buy two. You'll buy two? Yeah. Okay. He'll take those two. So it's 400 per kilo. All right, that's one kilo. Just under? Just under one kilo. 2.25. Okay. All right, so I'll take this. Uh, so, Pila. I love being, I've been here in the Philippines, you know how to speak Saya? <laughs> I'm, I'm learning a little bit. Ibalako Mubi Saya. This is 900. 900? Okay. Alright, perfect. What is more? Uh, sorry? How small? No, no, no. it's okay, I'll cut. Oh, yeah, I'll cut. Okay, yeah, alright, yeah, we're yeah. going to cut it. Perfect. Alright, I'll take those two. Always try to see if you can get them to double bag it and if you can find ice. If not, buying ice on the way home is always a smart option. We're going to put yellow. Yellow is ice, right? Or, or do, you, do you sell ice? No, no, no. It's me. Oh, really? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was actually just practicing the word for ice, but he just he gave me some anyway. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Salamat ka ayo.
No problem. <laughs> Double bagged with ice. Salamaka Ayo. All right. Here you go. What's your name? Uh, my name is Wang. Wayne? Wang, Wang. Wang. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Wang, I'm going to get. Oh, another one? Another one kilo? Yeah. You see the tail? Very small. I'll take the tail. Let me see. Maybe here. We're gonna go for two kilos. One, one big. Yeah. All right. I'm Ping. Ayo, ayo. Salamat. Ayo, ayo. Hello again. <laughs> we're we're making kini kini lao, so we we need is mackerel. Palasuke? What is palasuke? Big fish, huh? Big fish? Yeah. Big fish, mackerel. Yeah, mackerel is for Kinilao, right? Yeah, yeah, for Kinilao. Where Kini are you Lao. from, sir? Uh, United States? Where are you from? Philippines. From, from Bohol, though? Yeah, Bohol. Bohol, Panglao? No, it's Dawis. Dawis? Oh, Dawis. I live in the Philippines now. Yeah, yeah I love Philippines. Uh, ayo, ayo. Ayo, ayo. <laughs> you have your YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, what's your name? Travel escapes. Yeah. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's it. Travel escapes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wang, right? Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> Salamat. All right. See you. Have a good day. I lost. Hold on. I got. It's so easy to find Dagan. He's a whole foot taller than everyone else. A foot taller than me as well. It's very easy to find you. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, again. Hello, Kamusta. Maayo. Maayong buntag. Maayong buntag po. Maayong buntag po. Ribs. Maayong buntag po. Maayong buntag po. Mga agit mo, vloggers. Yeah, sorry. Mga agit mo. What does that mean? Vlog, uh, vlog. Black yeah, yeah, blog. Uh, yeah, yeah, travel escapes. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, that blog, travel escapes. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> travel escapes. Guapo, Gapon. Guapo, Gapon. Hello, blogs. Hello to my guys. <laughs> this is the best market I've ever been to. Uh, <laughs> Everybody is so friendly here as well. Uh, see you. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Shout out. <laughs> shout out. Morning. You want to shout out? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, welcome to Bahol. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Salamat. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this has been the happiest <laughs> location I've ever been. And it was a, a fish market. And there's a cat on my bike. <laughs> I have a friend. <laughs> Good morning, sir or madam. I, I need to have this motorbike. I'm gonna have to kindly ask you to, to move, sir or madam. I think we have a very successful mission. We have our fresh fish. Good thing you got there early. You have to get there early so no one else takes it. Cause that mackerel, someone else was gonna grab that. It's about a half hour drive back to town and we're gonna make Kenny Lau. Let's ride. Is this your cat? Oh, <laughs> uh, perfect. <laughs> right now we're grabbing the rest of the ingredients to make our Kenny Lao. This is to block the sun. This is not a fashion statement. Morning. How are you Good morning. doing? Right. How's work? It's okay, yeah. Good. Slowly, slowly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The last one I had had cucumbers as well. Do you want cucumbers in it? Um, yeah, I'm gonna do. Tomatoes, cucumbers, garlic, onions, calamansi. What is that? Sokang kubak. Yeah. Sokang kubak. You may red, Kayuania. I went red. Salamat kaayo. Salamat. Alright, salamat. Yeah, right. <laughs> ayo, ayo. We're 
We're gonna make three different types of Kenny Lau. We're gonna make a more traditional one, we're gonna make a spicier one, and we're also gonna make one, he said, Hawaiian style. I don't really know what that entails, but I'll let him tell you. We've got our special vinegar, we've got ginger. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna let him tell you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What do we got going on? All right, we set veggies off to the side. That's pretty obvious. Some spicy calamansi extract, some calamansi juice concentrate. Got a little QP mayo, got some sesame oil, got some garlic and chili oil, got some garlic and chili onion powder. Black pepper, white pepper, smoked Spanish paprika, salt, soy sauce, sriracha, and of course, a little tuba. Coconut vinegar. Secret ingredient. You know? Ginger, peppers, onions, garlic, chives, cucumber, more red onions, local chiles, extremely mm -hmm. spicy, fresh local little limes or calamansi as they call them here. We're gonna just really thinly slice all these up. Do some filet work as well. Every chef has their kit. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is a scimitar. This is from a fishmonger job in Seattle. And uh, it's got a lot of filet time on it. So I'm gonna work with that one today to trim up the fish. Every chef has their baby. This is my baby. This is my chef's knife. And uh, it's been honed down over the years throughout my career, and uh, it's my absolute favorite. First prep work is the fish. We're gonna get it washed, rinsed, trimmed, cleaned, dried, then put into another bowl, a clean bowl, and in that clean bowl we'll do, uh, we'll start doing our light vinegar with a little bit of ginger and a little bit of cucumber, bring down the flavor. through. Why is mackerel a good fish for this type of thing? Traditionally it's a fishy oily fish. We're not actually eating anything raw. We are completely curing and cooking everything here. This kini lao, uh, this will go in these containers once I'm done and it'll sit for a while and all of this meat will cook. All of this is going to cook completely. Calamansi and vinegar and, and that the calamansi it. and the tuba and the vinegar and all of those things will come together and cure and physically cook the meat right off. Just getting this membrane off. This membrane is very much like a membrane on uh, pork ribs. Nice looking piece. Check this out. Now I would, if this was Wahoo, this would be sashimi all day. One of the tricks to this is once you start working on a good piece and you've got it when you're skinning, to not put it back down on the micro scales. All those little scales that are sitting there. I let the side that's got the scales down, but then once I get it off the scales, I'm gonna keep it up here. Get a little bit of the tuba. Coconut vinegar. Smells good though. I just got back from grabbing some vinegar. Let's check in on Dagan here. Looking good. How's it going? It's going great. This is just fresh. You can smell all of this already. We have everything to get as close as you can get to the traditional. And uh, we're going to push that. Um, but it, it's going to be just a slight hairpin different than everybody else's because everybody's is different than everybody else's. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw when I went to the food market, the Fort Ridge food market here, I eat Kenny Lau there and I was talking about how that's why I love Kenny Lau is because every time you eat it, it's always a little bit different. Do you notice a garlic and bisaya? No. Neither do I. I don't know if you were expecting <laughs> me to teach you. <laughs> I was hoping he knew. I don't know. Okay, so... Mmm, that smells good. Uh, oh, we got three different ones all ready yeah. to go. So this is definitely the traditional one. This is traditional and spicy. Okay. And then this is a Polynesian Mike take on it. And we're gonna rock all three. Who's Mike? My, no. <laughs> my, my take on it. All right, this looks delicious. All right, so, what, what made this spicy? What'd you put in that? Uh, I've got a little bit of sriracha, some smoked chilies, smoked paprika, 
a little uh, chili and garlic powder, and then the spicy calamansi extract, that there, yeah. Okay. Peppers? Yeah, not yet. Not yet? They will go in there. Okay. Yeah, we've got some chili peppers here. Yep. Trust me, these, <laughs> these smell so good. So, from this moment, how long would you think before we can eat? An hour, at least. Yeah. Right. 30 minute marinade, then pull them and drain them, then toss them with the veggies, and put them right back in their containers, and then another 30 minutes of sitting with all the flavor. I'm so hungry. Neither one of us have eaten today. I usually don't eat early in the morning anyway, but I made sure to be good and hungry for this. I'm probably more excited to see the reactions of the locals to see what they think of it. That, my friend, is what it's supposed to look like. Mm. And that's the original, that's tr traditional right here. Yeah, that is going to go back in the container. And then we will move on to spicy and this will go back to marinating for a while. This is the finished product of the traditional one, but it hasn't marinated yet. It hasn't sat there long, but it's still gonna taste very similar to this. There you go. All right. This one? Yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is the official first taste test. I'm so hungry too. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so fresh. Okay, spicy's getting a couple of kickers. Cucumber into a spicy levels it out so well. Mm -hmm. I already know this is gonna be spicy. <laughs> That, my friends, is mm. some spicy quinoa. This one's colorful right here. Right? Yeah, I know, it's gorgeous. I know if I get a pepper, a chili pepper, I know what's gonna happen. If I really want the spice, or I could avoid it. I'm gonna do a mystery bite. I don't know if there's chili pepper in here. It's a little spicy. Yeah, it's got a kick. It's not, I didn't get a chili pepper though. Good. But it's, it's got a kick. Nice. It's good. All right. Fire. Yeah, we've even got mango in this one. This one, this one's a little sweet. It's gonna be very different. Not like any other Kenny Lau. Left a couple of big boy chunks in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. You go first. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I'm gonna get a little mango in here. Mm. Mm. These are all so good. I can't wait. Hopefully we can find some good people to give this to. I'm a little torn. I like all three of them. I think they're all three perfect. I think I would kind of like them to come out like a three tier dish with different ways mm. to scoop it, but all three varieties kind of mm. thing. I don't yeah. think I could, if all three of these were in a restaurant, I think I would order all three. We're going to let these marinate. When we have the finished product, we're gonna go around town and we're gonna let some locals taste test it and see what they think of our own homemade kinny lao. Everybody can come try the kinny lao. Do you like kinny lao? Thank you very much no. for coming in. Well, I'll try it. Well, you try it. I love the spice. You like spicy? Yeah. It's nice, so beautiful. Which one did you get? That's everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mixed them all together? <laughs> you don't like kinny lao? <laughs> really? Yeah. Where are you from? Italy. Italy, oh, okay. So we're gonna get the Italian perspective then. <laughs> This is very high standards. Someone from Italy. This is you're known for having some of the best food in the world. So these are really yes. high standards. <laughs> your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> and what was your name? Nati. Oh, so oh, you're the Nati from the on the building. I have a video here at this Carinderia. This is Nati and Henry Eatery. So this is Nati. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Which one do you like the best? The spicy. spicy. You like the spicy the best? Yeah. yeah? Ah, that's uh -huh. that's so you will like this, but not spicy. I know. I'm not trying the middle one. I smelled it when okay. I said. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay, you like it? This is my first time. I don't eat canilla. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is good. I've never <laughs> tried. It. It's almost the same, but it's just so spicy compared yeah. to this one. I love this one. Don't yeah. eat, don't eat it all. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, this is just for trial. This one's sweet. I don't know. It's just yeah, it's spicy. It's too spicy. I no. Like this one. 
You only like the traditional? Yeah. yeah. These are both really good. Yeah. Why are you mix I will not. Up? I will not try that one. I, I have some more, but yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I like you. This. I didn't make it. The sweet. You like the sweet? Yeah, I like it. Uh, just, just, uh, yeah just sweet's sweet. really good. You like just sweet, sweet stuff though? Natural girl. My ranking is first uh, the sweet, yeah. and then second the traditional, and then third. And then that's your third? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for trying it. <laughs> that's your favorite? Yeah. Okay. So this yours was this was one, two, three? Yeah. For you? The one, two, three. Okay. The, for you, one, two, three? Mm. Okay. Opposite. Uh, opposite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Total opposite. I tried okay. a tree. You can yeah, yes. try them all. Everybody yes. can try them all. I will try them all. <laughs> so you've never had Kenny Lao? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like ceviche. Mm. Okay. Very similar. But it's refreshing. It's good on a hot day. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this is excellent. Ah, she likes spicy. Is, oh. is Kenny Lao usually spicy? Yeah, in Filipino, mostly spicy. Yeah? Chili. yeah. The last Kenny Lao I had... This is spicy, this is my number one. <laughs> <laughs> your ranking? No. What's your ranking for you? Uh, that's hard to say. Pro this is maybe my favorite. Maybe Which this one, one this one, then this one. This one is... That's your favorite? Yeah. One. You also? What's one. number two? That's number two. And that's number three. Yeah. yeah, because the spicy is not really that spicy according to them. Oh, they want they want it to be spicier. Yeah. Oh, okay. My yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Anyone who wants to try it. Try yeah. this one also. Yeah, A try spicy. the spicy one. Very lami lami kaya. <laughs> lami kaya. Can I go to my husband? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Italian? I can tell your friend is excellent. Alright, I will yes. tell him. Have you tried all three? No, for me what I prefer, no. Together. <laughs> <laughs> you mix it together? Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, it's it's all the same ingredients basically anyway. Well, maybe this, maybe this the number one. Number one? Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> and number two? Mm, and number two, yes, spicy. Spicy? Okay, you like the spices. Yes. Okay. Alright, we have everyone. Wait, anyway, all three together is fantastic. Yeah, okay, alright. So you mix them all together. <laughs> because in Italy also you know, the food is different where we go in the region. Yeah, right. Because it's different where we go. So, if you go in Puglia, where my mother living, my mother make the uh, sagne in canulate, original, from Lecce. Okay. Oh, this one the best. <laughs> this one the best, because the food my mother prepare at uh -huh. home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fantastic. Right. But uh, I observe if you change the region in Italy, all region have the different nice food mm -hmm. that uh, you for example you go in umbria in tuscany you know tuscany no mm -hmm, of course also tuscany for example there is the cinghiale i don't remember the word in english cinghiale is like uh, like a pork no have you found a good italian restaurant here in town in alona beach area well, i found uh, a nice pizza, mm. close, very close to here, Toto e Pepino, yeah, this, yeah. this nice, perfect Italian pizza. Here are a couple other videos from my channel. If you liked this one, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. All of those things really do help us out a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.